All right, Brewers spring training day 15 and 7, and Garrett Mitchell would start off with a single, then he'd steal second base. Then after that, the Brewers would put up a 1-2-3 except for a Christian Yelich sack fly. The Rockies would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Chris Bryant hit by pitch. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a self relic walk. The Rockies would go 1-2-3. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Then the Rockies would go 1-2-3. Jaden Hill would replace Ryan Feltner. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Then the Rockies would go 1-2-3. John Curtis would replace Jaden Hill. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Joe Ross would replace Jakob Junis. Elias Diaz would hit a single. Ezekiel Tovar would fly out the left. Brenton Doyle would hit a ground roll, then he'd steal second base. Bradley Zimmer would get walked. Aaron Shunk would strike over the third out. Jalen Beeks would replace John Curtis. Bryce Turing would hit a pop up to third. Joey Weimer and Garrett Mitchell would hit singles. Then Reese Hoskins would ground into a double play for the third out. Charlie Blackman would hit a single, then Sterling Thompson would replace him. Chris Bryant would strike out. A Nolan Jones single, then a Brandon Rogers single would make it tied up at one. Then the final two outs of the inning would be flyouts by Elias Diaz and Ezekiel Tovar. Whole bunch of substitutions. Then Nick Mears for Jalen Beeks. Christian Yellich would hit a flyout to center. Willie Diamonds would get walked. Danny Hernandez would replace him, then he'd be caught stealing. Gary Sanchez would pop up to first for the third out. Brewers replacements. Brenton Doyle will fly out, then Hunter Goodman would strike out. Sam Bouchard will replace Aaron Shunk, then he get walked. A Sterling Thompson triple and a Jordan Beck single would make it 3-1 to one Rockies. Nolan Jones would line out the center for the third out. More substitutions for the Rockies. Ty Black would replace Nick Mears. Sal Freelick would ground out. Oliver Dunn would replace Eric Costa, then he would strike out. Bryce Serang would hit an oppo double. Eduardo Fernandez would strike out. Brewer substitutions plus Elvis Piguero for Joe Ross. Ground out, fly out, single, walk, force out. Gavin Hollowell would replace Ty Black. Andrew Monasterio would ground out to first. Wes Clark would be hit by a pitch. Isaac Collins would fly out to right. A pass ball would move Wes Clark to second. A Yanni Hernandez walk would then turn into a Gary Sanchez strikeout to end out the game. All right, the Brewers lose three to one to the Rockies. The record is now seven and ten, and there is no Brewers perspective Brewers player of the game.